everyone, welcome back to my channel, Fixing It Up with Sandra. And in case you are new here, I'm Sandra. Um, today, I have a craft that I have been waiting to do for you guys, uh, to do with you guys. Um, we are going to be working with cans, like regular old food cans. And I wanna show you how we can turn these into something super cute that you're gonna love, you're gonna show all your friends, everybody's gonna want one of these, I promise. Um, I had so much fun making these uh, a few years ago and because they're so easy and you can basically do it with whatever kind of scrap craft items you have in your house will totally work for this project. So, uh, okay, so um, it's gonna be a little loud because I do have my front door open just so the cats can kind of be out of my way and over there and we're working in the dining room today. So here's what we have. Look at this. How cute is this can? I love it. It's like one of my personal favorites. Right there, get a close up look of it. I want to tell you that a majority of this came from the Dollar Tree. So this ribbon came from the Dollar Tree, this came from the Dollar Tree, and then this one. The only thing I paid for was this burlap which was actually part of a um, wreath that I did. And I just used a leftover burlap for that. Wait for it, I have more. And look at this one, how stinking adorable. Again, I had leftover um, burlap from a wreath from the dollar store. And then of course, from the dollar store. Wait for it, I've got some really cute ones. This is my all-time favorite. Look at this. So I believe I got this rope from the Dollar Tree too. I can't really remember, but I know you can find this rope at the Dollar Tree. All I did was wrap this can right here all around. And then it has this. This is what they look like on the inside. This is super cute. Okay, look at this one. This one I just painted and then added this around um, again, from the Dollar Tree. I think I got this flower from Michael's or something like that. Um, that's what I want to say. So look at that, how cute. And in case you're like, I don't have any of this stuff to craft with. That's okay. I got gotcha. you. So I like to Mod Podge every now and then. So I did this. This is what I use for my pins. And this is just paper that I've Mod Podge. I hope I'm saying that right, Mod Podge, around. And then if you're like, I still don't have that. Well, this is what I painted right here. It's just sheer paint, flowers that I got from the Dollar Tree, and twine that I also got at the Dollar Tree. So that is what I have. And I'm gonna turn, eventually I'm gonna turn this around so you can do like the ooh and ah when I pan through them. Um, so today we're gonna be making, we're gonna be working with canned foods or food cans. So I have one that's just like, I'm gonna say your standard size, like, you know, right here. And then I have like a little bit bigger one. And then I have the grandiose godfather of them all right here. Okay, now what we're going to do with these is, I don't even know. I just went in my craft room and grabbed like a whole bunch of random stuff and then we're just gonna go from there. But what I am gonna do with them afterwards is that you see all my plant, I have, I have a bunch of plants throughout my house. So I've been doing clippings of my plants. So I have my spider baby right here. Yes, I recycle. I cannot bring myself to throw away a jar. I just, <laughs> but in my defense, I don't eat a lot of jarred foods. I do like jarred sauces because um, I like pasta, but um, I don't eat it often at home at least because I'm just too lazy, I guess, to make it. I don't know, whatever my excuse is. I don't have a whole bunch of them, but I do save them, bottom line. And so, <laughs> especially this one. So Safeway, let me just put, Safeway, they have, these are actually measuring cups. So don't throw them away because they're measuring cups. How cool is that? Oh, I thought the dog was gonna knock down my camera. But anyway, so I have spider babies that I need to transplant and I've been doing, like I said, clippings. 
of my pothos. And so I have this beautiful piece that I'm going to transplant into one of these cans. I am a plant lover, but I know how expensive plant pots can be. And if you're just looking, even for like, just like a simple terracotta pot, I've gone to Home Depot. I, that's where I tend to find like the better um, deals for me in my community. That's where I just tend to find the better deals with a bigger selection. But I definitely love like making my own stuff. So this is what's gonna happen. Now, let me just say, like this one is somewhat lined on the inside. So if you know, I didn't know I was gonna use this for a pot when I originally did this a couple of years ago. I had no idea what I was gonna do with this. But you don't have to do the inside, especially if you know that you're going to use this for plants. Um, it does have, like I just did this, and then I'll drill some holes or um, create holes, you don't have to use a drill. You can take like uh, a screwdriver and a hammer and just flip this bad boy over and then just go to town, poke some holes in this thing. If you have a ice picker, um, one of those will work or whatever, like take a nail and a hammer and then just do the bottom of this. However you can figure out to get holes in there, you can do that. Or if you're like, I don't have any of that stuff, what you can do if you want to use this as a planter, put rocks in the bottom, okay? I would say, yeah, go about, you know, an inch and a half, almost to two inches, especially in these big cans. I would fill it up with rock right here. That way the dirt is not sitting, you don't get root rot with your plants, and then do the rest of dirt and then plant your little plant. So that's what I would do if I didn't have a way to make a hole into one of the cans. Um, again, these are so universal. I use them for my pens. I have these cans everywhere. I just love to make them and they're super easy and fun. So I am going to bring the camera over so you guys can just see what I got right here. So you're like, I don't even know like where to begin to make something like that. Like what, what items should I have? Um, I have a bunch of random stuff right here in front of me which I'm going to show you here, and then we'll get started. So for the first one that we are going to do, I'm gonna use this can um, right here, and I'm gonna work with this drop cloth. So I wanna show you how cute this can be. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and measure out. Like I said, you can use any kind of scrap fabric for this, and we're just going to to cut it right about there. Now, I'm not someone who cuts very straight, so I'm gonna do my best. Probably should have draw, drew um, the line, but we're just gonna wing it. This is how I live my life on a wing and a prayer. <laughs> and that is most definitely crooked. I can see right now. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. So what we're gonna do, here we go. One can down, bam. Look at that. And I have my glue gun already heated up. And you can even paint your cans too. You do not by any means have to do fabric. Man, this is like one of the, the fun projects to do because this is, I know a lot of people, you know, they still have their kids at home and um, they're looking for things to do with their kids and stuff like that. This is a perfect project to do this with children because then they can let their creativity go and really just have fun. And you, if you don't have real plants, you're like, I am not a person that has plants. Go to the dollar store and get some really pretty faux flowers and make it look cute. All right. So right now I'm just trying to get the edging on. So I'm just going around the top of, I don't know why I didn't do that earlier. I'm just going around the very edge, very top of the can, like so. 
and just laying this down. So I already said that this is most definitely crooked. I cut this crooked. I already knew it was gonna be crooked. And because I always do it crooked, I always have a plan. Like, I'm never surprised. If it comes out straight, that's when I'm surprised. So I know that I'm going to be using this probably for a planter because I did a lot of um, clippings. I love doing clippings. And so, please tell me I cut enough fabric. Oh, oh okay, I, I did. All right, there we go. So I'm just doing the edge. Look at that. How amazing is this craft? How fast is this craft? How fun is this craft? So, <laughs> um, let's just cut this. And plus, I wanted to switch it up. I've been doing a bunch of reads. If you're new to my channel, um, welcome. And I have been doing a bunch of reads which again, I do love, but I also love, 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 love to do a bunch of other crafts because I am a budget freak. Um, and I love having my own spin on things, you know, cause I'm always like, man, ah, oh, that was hot. Um, and for those who have said, like, get those silicone things, um, I do, I have them. <laughs> I just always forget them. And I kind of feel like when I wear like those rubber finger tippy things, a dog, like a dog with shoes on. You know how they walk all funny and stuff like that? That's how I feel like my fingers, I'm like, I don't even know what to do anymore. But that's why I don't really like to wear them, even though, duh, it would help. So <laughs> anyways, so I do love putting my own spin on things and you know, I'm a creative person. So I'm like, I, I, my life is truly that meme where it says like, why buy it for $7 when I can make it with $95 worth of uh, craft supplies? That is me. So as you can see, completely crooked. Thought about taping it down, but yeah. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go around and then it'll be fine. <laughs> I hope you guys, today is Thursday, and I hope you guys are having a most fabulous Thursday ever. Look at that, perfect every time. <laughs> so as you saw, I only taped, or oh my goodness, I only glued this very top. I am gonna try to reach in here with the greatest of ease and do a little bit right here. I don't like putting glue. I've noticed when I put glue like all around here, unless I'm using a spray glue, which can be very messy. I like to use that stuff outside. Um, I, I, you see lines. So I don't like to um, put hot glue like right here at all. So. Just trying to find a little opening. There we go. Just kind of go around. And these aren't going to be manhandled too much, so they don't have to worry too much about, you know, this, this thing coming off. So here we go. Look at that. And this would be a cute thing to paint as well. Like if you're an artist, go to town. All right, so now that we have that on there, hmm, what will we use? Butterflies. Oh, I love the butterflies. I don't have, ugh. Maybe we're gonna do butterflies. I like that. I also like to probably do something. I wish I had, you can find like little cute signs or if you have a Cricut like I do, 
Okay, I think we're gonna do butterflies because all of a sudden I'm just, it's so springy to me that I'm like, all right, let's do it. This one's kind of, oh, there we go. Those pins pop out really fast. These are so delicate and so, oh, so cute. And I'm a huge butterfly person. And, oh, I do wanna say that you don't have to um, put plants, like you don't have to, you could, if you had a jar, you could like just stick it. Oh, look at that. Wait a minute here. Wait a minute here. <gasps> Dude, how cute. <laughs> you can just do that. Oh, and then you can use it. Oh, reuse it for so many different things. Oh, that's so cute. All right. Okay, I know their wings don't, or their antennas don't go straight out like that. Try to curve this. Super cute. And then of course I will, should I keep some cans right here just to kind of remind you of what we can do? Like a little display. Ah. All right. Do I have, oh, yay, and I have different color butterflies too. My niece is gonna come over and absolutely fall in love with this. She's gonna think they're real butterflies. I wanna do like a whole shelf with just like these kinds of cans and have a bunch of really cute plants in them. And this is the season, I mean, it's spring, people are buying flowers and plants and all of that stuff. Okay, we're getting there. And as delicate as these are, don't worry, like if you're rolling out over like what I'm doing right here, And if you got some twinkle lights, oh my gosh, that would be so cute. That would be super adorable. Now, I already have the butterflies on here, as you can see, and I think we're just gonna keep it like this. I might put a trim, hold on, I'm lying. Let me, hmm. Um, something to do the edging. And I didn't grab too much stuff when I came. Let's see. Should we do a little bit of the rope edging? I think that would be cute. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of rope edging. Let me bring y'all closer come in and let's get acquainted. All right, so we're gonna do this kind of rope uh, right here. And okay, these are gonna have to, I'm sorry, these are gonna have to kind of scooch to the side. Oh, up front. Oh, that'll be better. There you go. And we're gonna just get our, I want to have the seam on the same side as the uh, other seam. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of a piece right here, back backwards. And we're just gonna go ahead and put this little piece right there. Now I will glue this for the most part in every single section or, you know, all the way around. Let me bring this over here. So I'm gonna let that kind of dry just for a bit. And we're gonna go and do this edging right here. Do a little bit at a time because I don't want my glue to dry while I'm trying to get the rope on. Super cute. And you can see just how easy this is to do. And again, you can do this all from the stuff that you get at the Dollar Tree. This is such a budget-friendly craft. 
And again, it's so cute. You can personalize these. Um, you can give them as gifts. Mother's Day is coming up. Oh my gosh. I don't know what mom wouldn't be excited to get something like this. I mean, you can use this for anything. You can use this to hold your spoons in the kitchen. Um, you can use this for plants, real or faux. It doesn't matter. Um, so many things. For your desk, you can put all your pins in there like this. The possibilities are endless, let me just say that. But how adorable. Um, you can tell your friends, like, let's get together, have some wine, and ah, and um, there we go. And let's bring, bring a food can, <laughs> bring an empty food can, um, and let's have some fun. All right, we're almost there. I love spring crafts. I'm not even gonna say that. I, as soon as it started to say it, um, I was like, I'm lying, because I love all crafts. And I have to say, actually, Christmas is probably my all-time favorite. I'm a huge Christmas freak. Um, I think I'm gonna do Christmas in July this year. I have never done that. <gasps> Look it! Oh, it totally needed that edging. Oh my God. I was just thinking like, sorry, I thought you guys could hear me think. Um, I was just thinking, wouldn't that be cute to do like the butterflies and um, the bees all around here? And I did, I must have not have brought it out. But you can also use deco mesh to cover these because you know sometimes you have like a little bit of deco mesh left over and you're like what in the world am i going to use this for get one of these smaller cans um right here get one of these smaller cans and cover this with deco mesh <coughs> excuse me that would be cute and i did have some that i was going to show you but um apparently i did not bring it but that's okay so anyways like this oh hold on now now I can feel my brain just like chugging along. But I have so much stuff out here that I'm like, where did it all go? Probably that one, the one, yep. So we're gonna open this. Okay, annoying. There we go. Oh, these are cute. That's cute. What if we did that? Cause I'm like, I wish it had like a saying on it. Sold. <laughs> I'm like, done, I love it. So <laughs> that's happening. And like I said, you could totally paint this. Now, if you didn't want to use um, hot glue, if you're like, ooh, I don't know about that, E6000 glue, oh my God, ugh. How cute is that? Now, as you know, it's not gonna bend to the, sorry, it's not gonna bend to the can, so it does, it's flat, you know, so it's gonna stick out, but how cute is that? And I, the reason why I like, you can paint them, but I was like, oh, I like the way this is because it matches this. So it like kind of pulls it together. And then I like the butterflies to be the pop of color. Sold. I love it. I love it. That probably took us, what, 10 minutes to do. Super excited about it. Now, what else? What else are we going to do? So we did a super fast um, burlap with butterflies and the Imagine, absolutely love. And you know, I, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I am not the best at working with um, deco, or I almost said deco mesh, modest mesh. So let's try this bad boy again. 
I will need, excuse me, my handy dandy paintbrush. So we've got that right here. So you have your can, you're gonna measure. <laughs> Trying to think of which way is the easiest to measure. Okay. So we're gonna do that. Did it even get where the can is? So this will be a little bit easier to do because I'm just gonna do that and then cut along the line. Okay, and this is just some pretty paper that I got from that um, book. Like I said, you can find that in the craft section at Walmart. It's kind of got a dry fill. There we go, get that dry piece off. Let's put this back on. Just shake it up a bit. This is a matte one. They do have the glossy one too. I I just went with whatever the Dollar Tree had. Um, I did eventually buy the glossy and the matte because the Dollar Tree had them at different times. So, so what you do is just paint your can a little bit. This is like glue in a way. Well, it is glue. So, get a thin coat of it on there. All right. Now we're gonna take our paper. And I'm getting it right under the lip, like that, okay? And just, we're gonna do this for, this is our first part that we're gonna do, okay? We're just gonna work that on there. Just all right. Don't try to get it too thick, just get like a you know, like I said, like a thin coat on there. And when I bought when I originally bought Mod Podge, I'm like, what? do you even do with this? I had no idea, but I'm so glad that I am, well, I know a little bit about it. I don't know too much about it. I'm sure there are crafts that will blow my mind that you can do with this that I don't even know about. Okay, got that good and on there. Okay, just keep going around. Perfect. All right, so now you've got, for the most part, you've got your can on there or your paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and just trim off all the excess. And yes, I did a little bit over on this. Okay. There we go. So now that we have this on there, okay, this is what your can looks like, okay? You're you're gonna start to, well, on mine, you're gonna start to see the indentations of like the ripples of the can. Okay, take this. And then still with just a very little bit of, and you can get paintbrushes at the dollar store too. You're just gonna, well, I'm gonna, you know, where, where the seam is, I'm sealing it right there where the seam is, and now, you're just gonna paint over the paper to give it um, a uh, protective coat. Yes, mind blown, right? This, I don't wanna say it'll make it waterproof, that yeah, proof, but it will give it a waxy coat 
for those who have never used Mod Podge. And I'm telling you right now, if y'all know of any kind of craft that is super fun like this, um, that includes Mod Podge, send it my way. I am so curious to what else I can do with Mod Podge. And what you're gonna do is just, like I said, don't, don't really gob it on there. You know, just a thin coat is all you need. There we go. And this will dry, like I said, and give it like a nice little protective coat. And it, these are pretty durable. I've done this with, um, prior to having my Cricut Maker, I would do this, um, so I would go online and I would print out images and then Mod Podge them to dollar store canvases. Yes, um, it was awesome. I will definitely be showing you guys how to do that at a later, um, in a later video. That I do know how to do. edging right here. Now with this, obviously you have to let it dry. I'm just getting this edging of the can. This doesn't take very long to dry at all. And like I said, especially if you use just like a light coat of it, it won't take long. Um, let me show you what I have. So here's what I have. And this is not paper that will rip easily. It's, you know, it just, it made it a lot thicker, gave it. I don't know if I used the glossy or the sheen on this, but I love this. And then I just did a little rope around, um, string from the dollar store. All right. Kind of just tucking that down a little bit. All right, so we've got that. We're gonna let that dry before we decorate. And let's do another one. I have this big can and I'm like, okay, what do I wanna do with this bad boy? I wish I had enough of this rope to go all the way around but I don't. Hmm. Maybe we're done. Oh, I, we did, I did bring my, okay. So here's deco mesh that I have. That would look super cute, wouldn't it? So you can actually get deco mesh and do this. How cool is that? All right. Um, I think, 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 think. Oh, and you can also get this kind of twine and wrap it around here. So let me see. I wish that was solid burlap. I'm trying to, <laughs> okay, I think we're just gonna go ahead and do this. This is something to do also if you are going to get married and you're like, I wanna do, um, you know, budget friendly crafts. Oh, I like that. I really do. All right. So we're going to just wrap this around here like that. This is great for weddings. Okay. So I'm going to take my glue gun and then I'm going to start there. We're going to work. I want to go on the same seam as the can. All right, there we go. Now I do understand that this is not completely covering the can. Work with me. We're going to, we're going to make it pretty. So now we're just going to go along okay. put 
that. Okay, perfect. Okay, this is looking so cute. And now that it's yard sale season, I bet you guys can find all kinds of cute stuff um, for crafting. This can's a little cold to the glue, oh, trying a little fast. Oh, that's actually kind of almost done. All right, got glue all over my finger. And of course, if you guys are doing this project, um, I would love for you guys to send me a um, picture of what you guys created. I'm always so interested, especially when you guys are like, hey, you know, you I did that, you know, I watched your video and then I did it. I'm like, oh my God, show me. <laughs> so, so yes. I'm definitely curious. And of course, if you have any ideas of what to do with these food cans, bring it on. Let me know. Because, ah. There we go. Let's do this double sided if we can. There we go. perfect and you can see how easy this craft is all right there we go Perfect. Now this would be a super cute like wedding piece. Okay, that's what we have right here. I really like it. So now I'm thinking maybe this to go around the top and bottom. I have a hot glue string all over me. It's driving me crazy. I do like it. Just like, hmm, what do y'all think? That's going to be kind of similar to this. That's why I'm like, hmm. Okay, we're going to work with it. So I'm going to find my seam. Do the top just to get like a starting point. Okay, perfect. All right, I'm just waiting for that to cool and then I'm gonna go around and do, ooh, not quite ready to be moved. So then I'm just gonna go around and do the edging on here. Cause to me, that's like the one area that I really like to make sure that is glued when I do that, if I'm gonna go up to the very top. And then I'm just, what you see me doing why I have so much string from the hot glue is that I'm just kind of like, you know, I don't want big drops. So I'm just kind of taking my finger when it's not super hot and just kind of, um, I guess flattening it out or, you know, just making the edge smooth. And this is the hot glue gun that's not, I mean, it is hot, but it's not like melt your skin off like the other one that I have. So my fingers are pretty much for the most part, numb to this, but believe me, I still get burned. All right. I 
I can hear my dog either snoring or breathing. One of the two. Like, he's loud. <laughs> okay. And I'm trying to do this with my left hand. All right. There we go. So, how cute is this? Cut this. Now, I didn't do the lower edge just yet. I I will. I believe I will. But I just want to see how this looks right now. Um, because this is burlap, it, you know, when you put the glue on it, it does, you know, it seeps through. And so you can see it. So I try to avoid, you know, those, like, here, I'll show you. See how you can see through right there where this glue is. And I really hate seeing that like all the way around. And again, these aren't going to be manhandled or anything like that. So I'm like, I'm just going to kind of leave it like that. And I will have to get another roll that's in my closet of this because... Because that's what it's going to look like. And if this was for a wedding, oh my gosh, that would be so cute to like do somebody's names right there. Um, yeah, I'm just like, wow, this, there's so many possibilities. Now, I know that this doesn't go all the, all the way around, but just for this video's sake, I'm just going to, we're going to dress the front of it up and not worry about the, the back for right now. So I'm just gonna get a starting section. So cool, okay. I hope you guys love these kind of tutorials just as much as the wreath ones because I have a bunch of super fun tutorials that are crazy easy that anybody can do. Um, and of course, budget friendly. I want you guys to all like see the possibilities with everything. I love to upcycle. I like to take something that was once one thing, but we're gonna completely turn it into another. My favorite thing. Actually getting pretty good with my left hand on that kind of stuff. All right, there we go. All right, there we go. Super cute. Even if it is only not, like partially <laughs> covered. I still think it looks cute. And this one would look really pretty with, oh, we're gonna do some burlap flowers. That's what we're gonna do. Oh my gosh. I get so excited when I'm like, that's it. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> it's Even before like doing videos like this, that's, I'm serious, that's how I always am when I'm like, oh my God, I just figured it out. I get so happy when crafting, you know, just works out the way that you're like, I hope it just comes out perfect. And then you're like, oh, that's it. And then it like, it, it's perfect to you. And yeah, that's the best feeling in the world. <laughs> so. Okay. Now I'm just using a piece of cardboard to kind of, because the hot glue is kind of, you know, popping through the burlap. So I'm just using like this little cardboard. Somebody told me to use a, um, a little spat, like a silicone spatula. And I don't, I have one in my office, but <gasps> look at that. Okay, so this is where my seam is. 
Now, what if we add fabric roses? Dude. Oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> Can these be, I'm not, okay, I'm not gonna pull this out because I think if I pull this little wire thing out, this whole rose is gonna come undone. So, and I don't have my, I didn't bring my wire cutting scissors. So I'm just gonna kind of twirl this as best as I can and then flatten it out like that. Now I wanna make sure I get this center. So I'm gonna find where this, this is where the back is. So I'm gonna find it in the center, in the front. And do a big gawk. Okay, so that's. Okay, so I'm just gonna hold this right there. I absolutely love this. And I'm gonna add three on there because my other one just has like one. I think that just <laughs> looks a little sad. So we're not gonna leave it so low. It'd be really cute too if you like had a whole bunch of these roses um, to put on there. But for budget's sake, you know, we just, I just bought the one. Um, It looks, it looks funny like this, but you'll see when it's laying down. Okay. I'm so excited that I for these burlap are, it's perfect because it completely matches um, the base of this thing. And you, like I said, this is all just stuff that I had laying around my house or in my craft room. And to be fair, I have a craft room. Let me, I didn't just have this laying around in my house. I have, I have a whole bunch of crap laying around in this house. So. All right. One, two, three, do this again, kind of twirl this into a, okay. These are like, now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, these kind of stick out a little far but whatever, it's, it's cute. But it is like, <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute here. And it would be really cute if you, I'll be right back, I have some. <laughs> I'm like, I just thought of something, I'll be right. Okay, I got these. Again, Dollar Tree. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, cause I was thinking in my head, Oh, wouldn't it be super cute if we had some like pearls of some sort? Okay, this thing just comes right off. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh. Now this, now we're getting wedding-ish. Hold the phone. And this has its own stickiness. I mean, you could totally. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so in love. And because the silver matches the glitter, because it's a glittery silver. I'm sorry. Oh my God. It's a silvery glitter. Ugh, it's just so stinking beautiful. We have just taken up. Okay. <laughs> I, these do kind of look a little funny. I wish, you know, I might flatten them out. So they're not so, so, um, just like me. 
<laughs> but you know, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I just, just roll with it, okay? <laughs> I think I might try to replace it with something like that, especially like, I'll have to, I'll have to take those off at a later point in time. But isn't it? <laughs> Isn't this so cute? Anyways, just <laughs> I'll decide to get these burlap roses. You know how they're gonna look. Ooh, there we go. Ooh, my, I left my hair curly today. I've got like a conditioning thing in it right now. But that's funny. Anyways, <laughs> let's get back to crafting. <laughs> All right, so you see how that works out. And again, look at all these different options. I have different colors. Look at this. And like I said, I'm going to be taking these outside and planting my little clippings in them. So one more time. <gasps> how pretty. It's automatic to start prune or to start like getting rid of all of the ickiness on my plant. I love, love plants. And because I have cats, I have to keep the majority of them up very high. So anyways, so you see what you can do with food cans. So freaking awesome. And nobody is going to know that this is a food can. Well, all right, everyone, that was my food can tutorial. Oh my God, I almost forgot about this little bad boy. Okay, so I have this. I'm not gonna do too much with that, but I did want to put this sticker on it. How cute is that? And I'm just going to, I'm just gonna kiss this one. Keep it simple, stupid. I don't even know, why did it say stupid? Keep it simple, Sandra. Oh my God, that works. Keep it simple, Sandra. I'm gonna kiss it. That's it. That's all I'm gonna do. So as you can see, it does put like, this is a matte one. So I'm assuming that this was a glossy one because this kind of has like a sheen to it. But you can feel the difference in texture and um, it's a lot more durable than you're just plain paper or whatever. So that's what we're gonna do with that one. So what did you guys think? Food can. Don't, don't look at these. Food can. Oh, I love this one. How cool is that? Food can. Food can. In case you missed the beginning. Food can. Okay, we got this one right here. Food can, food can, painted food can. What did you guys think? This is a fun craft. I'm telling you, don't go out and buy pots if you're using these for planters because you can, these are a nice size. Like, and I'm sure you can go to, you all know somebody that works in a restaurant. So you can just ask like, hey, when, um, when you go to work, can you ask like the chef if we can save a couple of cans, like bring in a bag, make it super convenient for them to just be able to toss it in there, dirty and all, be like, I'll take it home, I'll clean it, don't worry, I just need a can. Because this is so much fun to do. And of course you can do this with anything else. Um, just food cans, I mean, we, I would think almost every single one of us uses a food can at some point in time. And these are just an easy way to upcycle and you don't have to throw these away. You can use them for a great purpose. Um, so yes, that is today's craft. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. And of course, if you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed, because I'm just gonna assume that everybody has subscribed to my channel who watches, um, please subscribe because it allows me to um, do bigger and better things for you guys. Um, and also share this with your friends. If you're like, hey, have, have you ever thought of this? Let me share the video. That's that's even more, it, that means the world to me. Um, but of course, uh, I appreciate each and every one of you guys um, for just 
watching, commenting, liking, all of the, like the interaction. Cause these videos are made to be, I, I wanna interact with you guys. I don't want to just like put information out into the universe and then hear crickets. So anyways, thank you so much for watching today. Um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys again in my next video.